Hey, my name is Ryan DeLui, and this is my review on the Physics of Baseball Lecture, presented by Professor Alan M. Nathan. Professor Nathan is currently a professor at the University of Illinois and has devoted a lot of his physics expertise to understanding and teaching the physics behind baseball. The game of baseball revolves around physics concepts, a lot of which are easy to miss or observe incorrectly. One thing Nathan emphasized was that by simply slowing down the plays, the physics becomes a lot easier to notice. Lucky for us, there is so much technology on the field, accessing slow motion videos is simple. There are two relationships that Professor Nathan focused on during his lecture, the ball in the bat and the ball in the pitcher. The bat isn't a static object. When it comes into contact with the ball, it bends. It is also important to note that the ball squishes when it comes into contact with the bat. This contact force can take away a lot of energy from the ball, making home runs unlikely. However, there is a sweet spot that the ball can hit that will dissipate the least amount of energy. If the ball hits above or below the sweet spot, it can result in unwanted effects. Baseball pitchers aren't simply throwing a baseball. There's a lot of skill and technique that goes behind it. When mastered, the pitchers can make the ball curve and completely confuse the batter, sometimes making it near impossible to hit the ball. Pitcher Mariano Rivera is considered one of the best in this regard. He's capable of continually placing his pitches near the batter, making it impossible for the batter to hit the sweet spot. Tim Wakefield has a pitch that is seemingly random. The baseball is pretty sensitive when it comes to being thrown. Slight changes in revolutions can drastically change where the ball ends up.